All right, so I want you to check out the calendar. You know it is February 1st, but do you know it's the 32nd day of the year? What is the big deal about that anyway? Okay, according to a poll of 2,000 Americans, it takes the average person 32 days to break a resolution. Today's the day. So I ask you, how are your resolutions and your goals, friends? I will have to say I have been staying on top of going to the gym and eating healthy, but I could do better with my spending. I've been swiping that plastic a little too much. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Chilton? I like that term. I'm using that from now on. The um, swiping of the plastic? Yes, slap of the plastic. Mm -hmm. I agree. No, I, I don't make them on purpose because I think it should be something you do all the time, right? Okay. So, yeah. 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 Honestly, if I had a resolution, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> gotcha. All right. So while the first day of February signals the time people say so long to New Year's goals, more than two and three people said they don't even last that long. Not even the 32 days. Wow. So if you've thrown in the towel, what do you do to go from there? Mm, you got to start see, over. Start over. Okay, well, here's the thing. I talked to a registered dietitian about it. Here's what she says. If you feel like you're slipping on your New Year's resolutions, my recommendation is to just edit them a little bit. So if it was to cleanse, then maybe it should just be to eat, you know, vegetables at lunch every day. So edit. Don't give up because the truth is, is that, you know, there's no end point, right? If you've made a healthy goal, a healthy choice, just, just swap it. So I really like that. Edit the resolution. Don't give up on it. Make it more doable. So Lauren, in your situation, you can be like, okay, I'm only going to swipe it once every two days. Yeah, or once a week. Even or better. Once a week, even <laughs> better. Well, the key is that you have to see some progress, yes, right? Even yeah. if it's little, then that keeps you going. Yeah, because you don't want to just like get upset with yourself for giving up. Right. Just keep going. Stay mm -hmm. positive. There's something else the expert said. She says, have someone to be accountable to. And that can be a friend, it can be a doctor, it can be whatever. Of the 2,000 people who were polled for this survey, 40% said if they had a resolution buddy with the same goal, that it would help them. And you know who I thought of with this? I thought of you, Eric Chilton, because you and your wife are, you've got a common goal. Yeah, so yeah, we, we have a, as a personal trainer that lives in our neighborhood. My wife signed up with her a while back and then she forced me to, <laughs> <laughs> and, but, but it worked because I will not do it if someone's there to answer to or not there to answer to. <laughs> right, and it helps too that Leslie is there too, yes? Yeah, yeah, now we don't work out at the same time, but the, the trainer's smart because she started pitting us against each other. Well, you know, oh. Leslie did this last week. Uh -huh. it, yeah, and that, that works. Right, it is accountability for sure. Yeah, Lauren, your gym, don't they charge you if you don't yes. go? Yes, so the gym that I go to, we sign up for classes, and if you don't show up, you get charged. You oh. get like a like a $12 fee or whatever. So that keeps you going to the gym. So when I wake up at 5 a.m., I'm making sure that I go. All right, so remember, edit your resolution. Don't just drop it. We'll be right back.